Welcome everyone to Super Smash Brothers. All right, so it's pretty simple, honestly. Um, throughout this year, uh, hopefully, pretty quickly. Actually, I hope it doesn't take all year for me to do this, but it might because this is gonna go up randomly. Throughout the year, I'm going to have special guests and whatnot on this to help me clear and unlock everything in this game. So, you know, it's a really small game. There's only um, there's only a handful of characters. There's 12 characters, and we will go through classic mode with all of them and also unlock all the characters. Um, I hope that's simple enough, and all right. Well, I honestly don't think there's anything else to say about it uh, besides that. So let's start with Mario. Um, basically, this will be a, just a very easy way to have guests on the channel, and also I've I haven't seen anyone do like a let's play on a Smash Bros. Um, and I don't know. I just feel like it's a it's a weird concept and definitely a game that's really hard to let's play. Um, like really hard to let's play and also I want to say that I'm not like I'm not that good at Smash Brothers. So let, let me get that out of the way now um, Just so we understand I am not good at Smash Brothers But I don't know I just I have I have not seen this done yet, so hopefully this goes well um also, since this is like, I wanted to also kind of use this as a platform to talk about plans for the channel, uh, because 2016 is going to be a huge year for the channel. Uh, basically, there the plan is to cover at least 15 different Let's Plays um, or substances throughout the year, and that sounds like a lot. But definitely possible, especially with one that um that I'm starting with being uh, Final Fantasy X. That was that was definitely oh man, that's that's a huge game. I actually don't know how long it's gonna take me to do a whole game, but it's definitely gonna be like I've been planning that for I don't know eight months now. Like, it's, it's been in the process, that's actually why nothing's been going up on the channels, because I've been getting ready for this year. Uh, Matt and I have discussed it, and we felt the best way to, to tackle, you know, the slowdown and whatnot was just wait until... <clears throat> sorry. Wait until the year was up, and uh, just be prepared for it, so... Uh, that's basically what we've been doing is just getting so much prepared for the following year which now that we're in it you know you're going to be seeing a bunch of episodes basically throughout January you might not see this but starting at least with February you'll see three videos a day from us and that's something that uh, we, we've been trying very hard to to get to the point of able to do it um, we're not quite there yet. Uh, you will be seeing one to two videos a day until, until I think, I think mid to late January. Uh, then you'll start seeing three videos a day, which is very exciting. And to explain the, the substance that will be going on the channel, there's three different, uh, I'm gonna call them shows, uh, for the sake of it's kind of easier to explain it that way. Uh, there's three different shows. There's MC Gaming, which is the one that it's Matt and I together, and stuff that goes under that is, like, Luigi's Mansion would go under that. Uh, then there's Blank Plays, which uh, Final Fantasy goes under that, and um, and there's this, which is MC Randoms, which it could be uh, a bunch of guests or stuff like that. Th the reason why this is a uh, random and it's not a, uh, like a Cody plays is because there will be a bunch of guests, um, hopefully, 
on this project, so uh, I'm just starting it off in the year because Matt's not here. He is... In fact, I don't know where Matt's at. He's probably, you know, hiding from me. Um, but I'm just starting off because I figured it'd be a nice introduction to this, to the concept. Uh, at least hopefully. As I said, though, I'm I'm not good. <laughs> I'm not good at this game, so I I do, you know I would not be expecting flawless gameplay. Also, as I said, that we will be unlocking all the characters. So uh, in this video, we'll be unlocking one of them. Ah, oh, jeez. I wish I was, like, good at this one. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. I did it! I'm the last one. I didn't care about Link. Are you kidding me? Link is nothing. Link doesn't deserve to be in my presence. Nope. Oh, I love this theme. I really do. This is, um... Like, like, I don't think we've ever said it on the show, uh, but I'm a huge Pokemon fan, so is Matt. Uh, in fact, that's how we became friends, was Pokemon. Which it sounds kind of lame, but, uh, but that's fine. Uh, Pokemon was, like, the thing that made us friends. Um, I guess some backstory about this game is this was originally not planned to be a, like a, like an all-star game, but instead it was going to be its own fighting game called like King of Fighters or something like that. Um, and basically the idea behind it was the, uh, they didn't think it was going to sell well, so they made a prototype with a bunch of the Nintendo characters in it and it you know it looked really fun so the project got um got the okay and here we are with one of the most like treasured s series of all time like everyone has played or has experienced a one time in their life super smash bros i think that's just a, a thing you know what i mean um, and I wish I could, like, give away some of the, the secrets of this year, like, some of the projects that, whoa, geez, that will be coming up, because, wow, it's really exciting, like, we have a lot planned, uh, oh, snap, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, shh, uh, also, oh jeez. If, if, in case if you're wondering, I am playing this on the, uh, like, virtual console. On the Wii menu, on my Wii U. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm playing the 1064 game for the Wii Virtual Console on the Wii U. If Nintendo isn't getting confusing by then, I don't know what's going to get it confused. Um. Oh jeez. Uh, so yeah, this was not originally supposed to be an all-star game, so I think that's a fascinating fact. Um, because it is so beloved. Uh, I wish I was, like, old enough to remember playing this game as a child. In fact, I don't think, uh, oh jeez, I don't think my family, like, like, my older brother, who obviously was playing video games before me, um, I don't think he ever got this. Like, I don't think this was ever in our house. Uh, so I never got to experience this growing up, and I only got it uh, in the virtual console, actually. Uh, I was at a store, which was like a, uh, like an old game store, basically. Uh, and they were selling it, and I asked my sister, should I get this or Banjo-Kazooie? And went with this. 
Ah, uh, oh, I went with Banjo Kazooie because she said it looked cuter, and I was like, fine, Haley. I did give you the uh, the choice, so. Um, so then about, I think a week later, I bought this on the Virtual Console because it was there, and Banjo-Kazooie obviously is not there. Um, fact, I never played a Metroid game. Um, I rented Prime and never played it. Uh, and it for five days, n never picked it up. I don't remember why, just, I just think I did, I, I wasn't into it. Um, I know that Metroid is like one of those beloved series that like that me being you know i consider myself t definitely a nintendo fanboy i don't play much else um but like i i can honestly say that i've never oh jeez oh come on don't die don't die don't die i can honestly say i've never oh hey i'm dead uh I never played Metroid or uh, I haven't. I, I played Star Fox 64, but I've never played like 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 I played a little bit of it, not much of it. So you know, th there's like a very few of them, but a handful of games I never played. Um, I would love to actually do this for all of the Smash Bros. games, which sounds ridiculous because, you know, like, Brawl has so much, and obviously I would... My goal is to beat that, those games, like, this game 100%, and, um, I would love to do it for all of them, but we'll see how many guests we can get on it, or if Matt and I could just tackle it ourselves, or maybe I'll just do it myself. Uh, this one definitely, though, is going to be with guests because it's small enough to... Now I'm expecting it to be like, well, let's see here, there's 12 classic modes, um, and there's four characters to unlock, so I'm guessing probably 13 videos. If you're wondering how I did that math, you'll understand very soon. Come on. Come on. There you go. Um, I got really lucky with that item. Like, sometimes this fight can be really annoying. You know, honest, uh, honesty, I kind of don't like that fight, but it's all right. Ah, uh, crap. Um, this was a really cool idea. I think that every Smash Bros. game has an iteration of it. Um, of the like polygon figures, I mean. Uh, which I can talk about more after I beat the race to the finish. Uh, mainly had a race to the finish. But Brawl and the fourth one do not. And I wish the fourth one had a subtitle. Um, I really do. Oh my god. Alright, we're good. Running. Because it's always weird to just call it. Uh, I just call it four. You know, you have melee, brawl, four. It just, eh. Anyways, the Polygon team is an idea that's reoccurred in all, f in three iterations. But does in the new one? I don't, I don't know if there's a fighting team in the new one. However, classic mode's not even really existent in the new one. Uh, the classic mode, in my opinion, was doll. Uh, compare it compared to melee. Melee has the best classic mode. Um, in my opinion, I don't know, obviously, I actually don't know, like, the popular choice of that. But, definitely in my opinion, Melee's, uh, classic mode just started. Melee was the one I started with. I, um, I used to rent Melee every week from a game store, but I never, uh, uh that was right down the road for me, but I actually never picked up, like, the game itself until... I think like 2005 or 2006 finally um like after the game store closed so i I only spent like bet i spent about a hundred dollars in the game store alone i don't know how much my mom spent um on it afterwards oh man okay
some characters who I would like to see and like uh, Matt and I and hopefully Matt does one of these with me um, Matt and I have discussed like characters who should be in Smash Bros games a lot obviously I think as most fanboys of Nintendo's do uh, of Nintendo not Nintendo's uh, and oh man you like Matt gets all of his favorite characters and uh, I hope one day him and I talk about that it's uh, come on come on come on um it's really unfair that like I, I want Donkey like a new Donkey Kong character but I, I think that's just kind of necessary um and that's just that's not me just being like the diehard Donkey Kong fan but I just feel like that series is lacking while Fire Emblem has eight characters you know what I mean that's kind of ridiculous I uh, I don't know but hey I guess I, I guess if you want to be honest Fire Emblem's really popular so at least currently um I own Path of Radiance but oh I died um but I do I've never played another Fire Emblem game uh, actually that's not true I played the one on the Game Boy Advance uh, with Matt once but I haven't played any of the other ones I don't know how many there are either I assume that there's a good amount of them there's huge fan base or at least it feels like a huge fan base I don't know maybe maybe I'm wrong on that I don't know all right here it is master hand um, master hand is like in my opinion the most one of the most iconic like enemies ever and he's just a hand he's Mario's hand um, but the reason why he's so iconic is just because like he's always there you know what I mean like you always fight him Uh, I'm really uh, at this game. Um, actually, I'm pretty good at games. Uh, but Mario games, and Matt Matt makes fun of me for this. I'm really bad at Super Mario games. Like, really bad at Super Mario games. I don't know what it is about them. It's just like... Um, I I'm used to platforming from Donkey Kong and I do feel like the platforming uh, is completely different. Like Donkey Kong is like... I, I think a little bit more accurate than Mario. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Come on, just one more hit. There we go. Um, well, I guess that's it, right? 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 Am I right? Is that it? Well, of course you have to do a shooting game. Did you read all that? I'm number one. Thank you. I know I'm great. Anyways, no. This is how you unlock Jigglypuff. So uh, basically, the way that you unlock Jigglypuff is you beat classic mode with any character. You can be with any character. Um, it's that easy. Uh, wow. Definitely not a uh, not a challenge. Although, no, oh, no, 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 no! Ah! Shut up, Jigglypuff. Die, Jigglypuff.
Did I do it? Alright. I was actually kind of nervous. I thought Jigglypuff was gonna kill me. You have you can now use the Bloom Pokemon Jigglypuff. Alright, so basically that's that's what this series is gonna be. It's just randomly gonna happen, um, and there's gonna be guests on all of these, uh, besides this one and maybe a handful of other ones. Uh, but I would like to get people involved with this series. Um So yeah. I will see you guys next time.